Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another S Tuner video. Today we're doing the Toyota Aristo again. Um, I did one when it first came out, and it was pretty much a drift style. Um, there was really no, uh, no, no custom parts at the time, so everything was just done, like, um, what do you want to call it? Everything was done customly, I guess, <laughs> if that's if that's the proper term. I don't think it is, but. Uh, yeah, last time we did a drift sort of style to it. We had a big wing, um, VSKFs, and today I'm gonna do a uh, a VIP style. V actually looks the least VIP. That looks more drift like. Um, so I think we're gonna go with MB. I don't know. It depends on the front bumper here. Let's see what MB looks like. How's that look? That looks pretty VIP ish. <laughs> So yeah, we're going to actually do that. I just want to do a VIP build, and I feel like it. We have two MB options here. I like that one better. I think that one flows with the uh, VIP a little bit better than the other ones. Um, so yeah. Can I edit just the in inner bits here? I do want to do a set of angel eyes. I think that would be pretty cool, but it's quite a lot of work to do with S-Tuner. And as you guys know, I'm not really that great with S-Tuner. <laughs> um, so we got some yellow inner light bits, whatever you want to call that. I don't know if those are like the low beams or whatever they are. I honestly do not know. Um, can't really change the taillights up. We got uh, one wing here. Just a lip wing, which, which looks pretty good. I'm going to reposition myself quickly. Ugh. Alright, um, now we hop over to our other, wow, there's still no other parts. There's still no other parts. And then a lipped rear guard is what we're probably going to go with. Yeah, we went with the S9 last time, so. Lipped rear, um, and this thing looks pretty, pretty okay, I think. We just get some, uh, proper wheels on there and we should be good. Um, what sort of wheels do I like for, for this kind of thing? Not really a fan of these, but it might actually look pretty good. Not really. <laughs> now that I see them on the car, not really at all. Um, how did these look? Those are actually pretty decent. Might have to come back to those in a minute. Um, any other cooler options? Probably. I'm just missing them, most likely. We got these. These are a personal favorite for mine, uh, of mine for VIP cars. Um, I actually did. I modeled my own wheel, like modeled and designed my own my own wheel, and I loosely based it off of the design of this. I don't even think I have a picture of it saved anymore, which is kind of unfortunate. But um, yeah, I would show you if I had the the picture still, but I'm pretty sure I don't. I will look around for it. If I do, then I'll insert it. Um, but if I don't, then it will not be inserted. So, camber of 15 in the front. Wow, that is some... That is way too much camber, I'm sorry. <laughs> Even though it's a VIP, VIP build, that is still way too much camber for my liking. Negative 10 is really the... The, uh, most I'll, I'll go. Probably like negative 7 in the, in the rear here. Yeah, that's some pretty good fitment, I would say. We can lower it. I don't like how the 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 front bumper is so much higher than the side skirts. That is one pet peeve I have on cars. Is if the front bumper is higher than both the side skirts and the rear bumper. But if the front bumper and like side skirts are low around the same and the rear bumper is high, it looks fine to me. It's just if the side skirts are are, are lower than the rest of the car. It is a big pet peeve I have. So, to counteract this, let's move it up a little bit. How does that look? Does that look good? If I deselect it. I'd say that looks pretty good, actually. That worked out better than I thought. I thought it'd, like, clip into the door or something. But, it actually turned out to be pretty, pretty well. Now, we may have to redo the wheels here. Like, change the size down to 17s and then... Um... Screw with the offset a little bit more. 
give it more camber just to get it there we go it's not flush but it's on bags yo that is gonna be my excuse for this car all right let's get some let's try negative eight there we go that's actually pretty decent pretty decent fitment for uh, a car this thing already has massive dish so I'll just do negative five in the rear keep the front the same um, we have no exhaust they didn't have exhaust options yet so I'm gonna have to make my own which can maybe be a little scary I don't know we'll find out um, what else do we have to do here I'd say our wheels are essentially done um, we can hop over to our colors I kind of want to do just straight up white F -f 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 do white for the whole body and then our wheels the center can be a black a nice chromey black um, and then our outer will be straight up chrome I don't know that's all right there we go make that matte okay okay it's looking pretty good it's looking all right um let's go ahead and do our interior quickly before we do anything else we got a bunch of seats but i just want to do seat one in the driver's side i want to do a stock seat in the side there that's all right that fits um i just realized i was like talking off to the side of my mic so that might have sounded a little bit weird there um steering wheel type four yep gear shifter type 2 doesn't matter um, now everything black yo our steering wheel will be yellow and our seat inner black seat outer black all right check that out that is amazing some of the coolest car I've ever seen in my life not really I mean this honestly isn't that great it's not as good as I would have planned originally but I mean it's it's pretty decent we can throw an engine in here quickly even though my engines always suck but it's okay it is okay um, we'll do our 2JZ if we're doing it in America or Canada <laughs> I don't know the specific redneck term for Canadians even though I am Canadian but um Let's do low mount turbo. Let's do low mount twin turbo, actually. Check that out! Um, and then we gotta do a 2J rocker cover. Our front dress will be a style 2. Actually, that was style 1, wasn't it? Style 2. There we go. Um, thermostat housing, you know, your typical, typical, typical thing right there. Um, what parts do we have here? So basically all stuff that requires extra tuning. And I'm not really down for that, so I'm just going to leave it. Uh, our engine colors just make everything shinier as usual. I haven't done a build of an engine in a while. Because I don't really enjoy doing them. They never look that good, so... <laughs> if I was someone who showed off the... What do you want to call it? Like the um, like I had the the hood up all the time or whatever... Then maybe I'd I'd take more care of it and pay more attention to it. But since I don't, I honestly don't feel like I need to. Cause watch. And it's gone. And you're never gonna see it again. So there's really no point to doing it, I find. Um What am I looking for? Exhaust, right? Okay. If it would ignore the parts filter, please. Thank you. Uh, I always double click it because I, I click it and I don't think it clicked and then I click again and it ended up clicking so then it does it and then it unclicks. Does anyone else have that problem or is that just me? It's probably just me. Um, I want to throw an intercooler in here first. Hey, that lines up pretty good. Alright, I don't have to do much screwing around with that and I'm okay with that. Uh, now is the exhaust 6. No. Exhaust 5. No. 
I want the dual straight pipes, but I don't want it to be pointing up. There we go. That's what I want. That is exactly what I wanted. Thank you, S-Tuner gods. Uh, we have to move it back to about there. And then we'll rotate it. Um, rotation. Is it the X? It's the Y. Okay. There we go. And then we'll move it down a little bit. Just so it's not right up against the bumper. Copy it, and then we gotta rotate it in the opposite direction. Like that, maybe. I don't really know. There's no real way to indicate how much you've rotated something. I mean, maybe if I move the camera back or whatever, I could fine tune it, but uh, that lines up quite li nicely, actually. So, I'm not really going to screw around with it. I like it. I like our exhaust. Can I paint that specific part? I hope so. I want it to be black. I want it to be black. You can't even really... I don't even know. I don't know what I just did. I probably broke something. Um, I'm going to screw around with the color of this a little bit more. Okay, well, that's the outside of the headlight. I want the glass bit, please. Doesn't look like I'm going to be able to get it. Is that it? Please. No, I keep getting the chrome bit around it. I don't want that. Please. Please be it. Please be it. Hey, okay. So, we'll make that yellow. Put a more prominent yellow like that. And then we'll drop the opacity down to about there. I think it looks better. Okay. Now we change the environment. Yes. Okay, environment. And then I can screw around with the color of the wheels and get it proper. Let's go to the workshop. We haven't been to the workshop in in quite some time. Um, so, yeah, there, there's the wheels. We got to make the wheel center more black. Meh. I don't know. I don't really. I'm not feeling it. The black wheel center doesn't look that great, honestly. I guess that's all right. It's not my my favorite build ever. It's not my most ideal build ever. But uh, for a quick little VIP Aristo build, I would say that's that's pretty decent. Can I can I do something quick here? Add a little bit of a tint to it. I want to tint the black, or I want to tint the taillights black. I don't know if I can do this big bit, though. I don't know why it's not selecting the big part. Come on. Please. Yes, okay, there we go. I think it looks pretty good. That looks... Now, this part down here if I can get it to be straight up red oh what no no all right whatever I don't think I don't think it's gonna work too well anyway that's that's our Aristo build I hope you guys enjoyed I mean it's it's all right like I said earlier let's get a poll in the way yes but uh, like I said earlier, it's not the greatest build ever. It's not uh, the best looking build ever, but it's all right. It's a happy medium, I'd say. I hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, I'll see you in my next video.